In this video, we will reveal eight powerful lessons from the life of the silent rich who have mastered the art of discreet success, lessons that have propelled them to new levels of success and could transform your life forever. So let's get started. Lesson number one, the value of privacy. One of the silent rich's most striking characteristics is their unwavering commitment to privacy. This isn't just about being secretive, it's about understanding the power of controlling one's own narrative and focusing on what truly matters. In a world where oversharing has become the norm, the ability to maintain privacy is both a skill and a valuable asset. For the quietly wealthy, privacy is about protecting their peace of mind. By keeping their financial status under wraps, they avoid the constant scrutiny and judgment that often comes with visible wealth. This allows them to focus on their goals, their personal growth, and the things that truly bring them joy, rather than constantly worrying about how others perceive them. Consider this. When you share every aspect of your life with the world, you're inviting everyone to have an opinion on your choices, your successes, and your failures. You're opening yourself up to a narrative that you can't control. The silent rich understand that by limiting what they share, they maintain control over their story. Moreover, privacy provides a buffer against potential threats. High-profile displays of wealth can make individuals targets for crimes such as theft, fraud, or even kidnapping. By maintaining a low profile, the wealthy can protect themselves and their loved ones from these risks. This doesn't mean living in fear, but rather living smartly and prioritizing personal security. Remember, you don't need to share every success, every purchase, or every milestone with the world. Sometimes the sweetest victories are the ones celebrated privately. This doesn't mean you can't share anything, but rather that you should be intentional about what you choose to make public. For business owners, this might seem counterintuitive in a world where a company's success often depends on its online presence. However, there's a difference between promoting your business and promoting yourself. You can build a strong brand without putting yourself in the spotlight. Many successful entrepreneurs choose to stay behind the scenes, letting their work speak for itself. Lesson number two, family as foundation, legacy is goal. For many of the silent rich, family is everything. Their wealth isn't just about accumulating money for themselves, it's about creating a lasting legacy that will benefit generations to come. This focus on family and legacy profoundly shapes their decisions, values, and approach to wealth management. Unlike the loud rich who are often driven by personal validation and public recognition, the quiet wealthy are motivated by something much more long-term. The desire to pass down not just wealth, but values, traditions, and a sense of responsibility to their descendants. They understand that true wealth isn't just about money in the bank. It's about creating a family culture that can sustain and grow that wealth over generations. This family-centric approach often involves regular family gatherings, not just for celebrations, but for education and planning. These families might have regular meetings to discuss financial matters, philanthropic efforts, and long-term goals. For those without children, this principle can still apply. Think about the legacy you want to leave. It doesn't have to be financial. Maybe it's about passing on knowledge and values or contributing to causes you care about. The key is to think beyond your own immediate needs and consider the long-term impact of your actions and decisions. Establishing core family values is another crucial aspect of this approach. These could include principles like integrity, hard work, generosity, innovation, or resilience. By clearly defining and consistently reinforcing these values, you create a framework that guides decision-making and behavior across generations. Lesson number three. Embracing Simplicity and Frugality One of the most counterintuitive aspects of the silent rich is their often frugal lifestyle. Despite having the means to indulge in luxury, many choose to live simply. It's about understanding things' true value and prioritizing what matters. For the quietly wealthy, simplicity isn't just a personal preference. It's often a key factor in how they build and maintain their wealth. They understand that every dollar spent on unnecessary luxuries is a dollar that could be invested and grown. This doesn't mean they never enjoy their wealth, but rather that they're thoughtful and intentional about their spending. The most valuable possessions of the truly wealthy are often not on display. The rarest jewels might be locked away in a safe, not worn around town. Priceless artworks might hang in private galleries, not in public spaces. 
Luxury cars might be reserved for special occasions, not daily commutes. So how can you apply this principle in your own lives? It starts with reassessing your relationship with material possessions. Instead of focusing on accumulating things, focus on accumulating experiences, knowledge, and meaningful relationships. Before making a purchase, ask yourself, will this truly enhance my life? Or am I buying it to impress others or fill an emotional void? Simplicity means being intentional about your choices and understanding the difference between wants and needs. It's about finding joy in simple pleasures and realizing that the most valuable things in life, like relationships, personal growth, and peace of mind, often don't come with a price tag. Remember, the goal isn't to look poor. It's to prioritize financial security and long-term wealth building over short-term gratification and external validation. Lesson number four, breaking free from the cycle of permanent dissatisfaction. Another most profound insight you can glean from the silent rich is their ability to break free from what psychologists call the hedonic treadmill, a cycle of permanent dissatisfaction that many of you find yourselves trapped in. Think about your own experiences. How often have you achieved a goal, maybe a promotion, a new car, or moving to a better neighborhood, only to find that the joy it brought was fleeting? Soon enough, you're eyeing the next milestone, convinced that it will finally bring you the satisfaction you seek. This is the hedonic treadmill in action, and it's a trap that keeps many of you constantly wanting more. The silent rich have often managed to step off this treadmill. They understand that true wealth isn't about having the biggest house or the flashiest car. It's about having the freedom to live life on your own terms. They've realized that constantly chasing external markers of success is the game that can never be won. A fascinating study by researchers at Princeton University found that emotional well-being doesn't increase significantly beyond an annual income of about $75,000. This suggests that once your basic needs are met, additional wealth doesn't necessarily translate to greater happiness. The quietly wealthy seem to intuitively understand this principle. Lesson number five, the freedom of choice. This freedom comes from financial security, yes, but more importantly, it stems from not being tied to a lifestyle that requires constant upkeep and expense. Many of you fall into the trap of lifestyle inflation as your income grows. You upgrade your cars, move to bigger homes, and buy designer clothes, all in an effort to match your lifestyle to your newfound status. But with each upgrade comes increased expenses and often increased stress. You need to maintain a certain income just to keep up with your lifestyle, effectively trapping yourself in jobs or situations you might otherwise choose to leave. On the other hand, the quietly wealthy often maintain a lifestyle well below their means. This gives them an incredible amount of freedom. They can choose to walk away from unfulfilling work, take time off to pursue passions, or pivot to entirely new careers without worrying about maintaining a certain standard of living. This principle can be applied at any income level. Keeping your fixed expenses low relative to your income creates a buffer that gives you options. Maybe it's the ability to take a lower paying job that you're passionate about or the freedom to start your own business without the pressure of immediate profitability. Perhaps it's the option to retire early or to take a sabbatical to travel or spend time with family. Lesson number six, the power of quiet confidence. Silent rich don't need to broadcast their success or seek validation from others. This inner assurance comes from knowing their own worth, independent of external markers of success. This quiet confidence is incredibly powerful. It allows them to make decisions based on their own values and judgment rather than being swayed by public opinion or the need to impress others. It gives them the courage to take calculated risks, to stand by unpopular decisions, and to weather setbacks without losing their sense of self-worth. Developing this kind of confidence doesn't require wealth. It requires self-awareness and a strong sense of personal values. Start by defining what success means to you, not what society says it should be. Recognize your own achievements no matter how small they might seem to others. Practice self-compassion, understanding that setbacks and failures are part of any journey to success. 
Remember, true confidence isn't about being the loudest voice in the room. It's about being comfortable in your own skin, secure in your decisions, and focused on your own path rather than constantly comparing yourself to others. Lesson number seven, continuous learning and skill development. One often overlooked characteristic of the silent rich is their commitment to continuous learning and skill development. Many of these individuals understand that in a rapidly changing world, the ability to adapt and acquire new knowledge is crucial to maintaining and growing wealth. Unlike those who believe that achieving a certain level of wealth means they can stop learning, the quietly prosperous often have an insatiable curiosity. They invest heavily in their own education and that of their family members. This might involve formal education but it also includes self-directed learning, attending workshops and seminars, and staying abreast of new developments in their fields of interest. This commitment to learning serves multiple purposes. First, it helps them stay ahead of trends and identify new opportunities. Second, it provides intellectual stimulation and personal fulfillment beyond wealth accumulation. Finally, it allows them to pass on valuable knowledge and skills to future generations, ensuring the longevity of their family's success. To apply this lesson in your own life, consider adopting a mindset of lifelong learning. Set aside time each week for reading, taking online courses, or learning new skills. Remember, education doesn't have to be formal or expensive. There are countless free resources available online, from MOOCs, massive open online courses, to educational YouTube channels and podcasts. Lesson number eight, the value of time and energy management. The silent rich often display an acute awareness of the value of their time and energy. They understand that these are finite resources, perhaps even more precious than money. As a result, they are incredibly intentional about how they allocate these resources. This often manifests in a few key ways. First, they are masters of delegation, understanding that their time is better spent on high-energy strategy and decision-making rather than on tasks that can be effectively handled by others. They're not afraid to hire help, whether it's for household chores, administrative tasks, or specialized professional services. Second, they guard their time fiercely. This might mean being selective about social engagements, limiting meetings, or creating strict boundaries between work and personal time. They understand that saying no to things that don't align with their priorities is crucial for maintaining focus and energy for the things that truly matter. Finally, they prioritize their physical and mental health, recognizing that their energy levels directly impact their ability to make good decisions and capitalize on opportunities. This often includes regular exercise, a healthy diet, sufficient sleep, and practices like meditation or mindfulness. So, which of these lessons resonated most with you? How will you start implementing them into your life? Share your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video.